Yeah, hello there, and welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, and if it's the first time here, welcome to Trucking Business Success. It's in here at a shipper, uh, waiting while they finish loading my trailer, and I just happen to be thinking about all the people out there right now that are out of work uh, due to you know, COVID and all the other crazy stuff going on in the world, and lots of. Uh, companies have gone under others have cut back and at the same time trucking is one industry that is uh, still hiring it, it's hiring as many drivers as it can get and there are thousands of truck driving jobs available to people who want them so if you're in need of a job you know you have a son or son-in-law daughter daughter-in-law friend whoever if you know somebody that is in need of a job that can meet the requirements to get a CDL, a commercial driver's license, class A, and uh, is interested in getting started in trucking, uh, tell them to look into it and to consider it. If they want information on how to do that, they can get in touch with me. Easiest way to do that is join our Facebook group, Trucking Business Success. And also, you can go to the uh, website, truckingbusinesssuccess.com or my personal site ldsewell.com and you can find ways to get in touch with me there if you want to and I'll be happy to try to answer any questions I can about uh, the realities of trucking you know, not just the, the uh, sales speak and the recruiting stuff that you're going to hear from some people which is the rose colored picture but I'll try my best to give you the whole picture the good, the bad, the ugly and everything in between and I'll say right off the bat and I've always said that trucking is a wonderful way to make, make a living it's a wonderful opportunity for a lot of people but it is not the right opportunity for everybody uh, trucking can be hard it can be stressful frustrating uh, there's lots of trade-offs to it and for some people it's more than worth it other people aren't interested in paying the price it's necessary to get into trucking I love it I've been at it for going on three decades and uh, in one form or another and uh, continue to be in it and my intention at this point in time is to stay in trucking until I die <laughs> in one form or another and that's the other beautiful thing about it trucking offers you all kinds of different opportunities you can you know, work in management you can work as a dispatcher recruiter safety representative safety assistant safety director if you learn all the things you need to do to do that uh, you can get involved in maintenance, you can get involved in brokerage or other logistics, uh, internal staff stuff, human resources, just all kinds of different things that you can do if you're interested in doing that. But it just depends on what it is that you're looking to do and whether you're willing to pay the price to do that or not. So um, it just depends on what you're looking for. And if you're interested in doing that, one of the first things you want to do is do some uh, research and figure out uh, what it is that you want to do in trucking. And my advice for for pretty much anybody looking to get started in trucking, even if you want to, to someday own a trucking company or you want to work as a dispatcher or a broker or an agent or any of those things or any of the other uh, capacities in trucking is to start as a driver. Start as a company driver, in fact, and get your initial training, your initial experience, and then go from there. So, uh, one of the places you can get information is, of course, you can do watch YouTube videos. Uh, you can do research, read blogs. You can talk to other truck drivers. You can take courses on Udemy and other platforms, including my courses on Udemy, uh, and other things to get the information that you need. And then you need to make a decision. You know, weigh the pros and the cons and the good, the bad and the ugly and decide whether it's right for you or not. If it is, then pull the trigger and go ahead and uh, get started in it. Get your, go to school, get your CDL, start with your first company, get your initial road training and then go from there. Um, you're going to spend a lot of time doing what I'm doing right now. You're going to be sitting in a dock. I don't know if you can see that without the glare, but you'll be sitting, we're backed into a dock door at this facility and we're process of being loaded with some products that we're going to be hauling up to uh, Harrisonburg, Virginia, and we're in Winston-Salem, North Carolina right now. So uh, you know, a lot of time you're going to be sp sitting in places waiting to be loaded or unloaded. 
other places, uh, other times, obviously you're driving to get to these locations. And there's a lot more to it. I mean, you, you have you know inspections you need to do in your equipment. You have paperwork you have to keep track of. You have trip planning that you have to do, um, and, and different things. But consider starting out as a driver. Learn those fundamentals. Learn the basics. Learn what happens actually in the real world out here on the road, and then decide what you want to do in trucking and where you want to go from there. Uh, I started as a company driver many, many years ago, and from there I moved into dispatching and uh, recruiting and safety and uh, compliance training and consulting and you know, many other things. And now, uh, after a lot of years, uh, we have added, uh, we, we, well, we started our own company back in 2008, Transport Resource Solutions, as a consulting and recruiting <coughs> publishing company providing information to people interested in trucking and then we have recently as of this year uh, started a motor carrier division we bought our own truck bought our own trailer uh, operating right now as a motor carrier just got some office space and, and sometime in, in the early part of next year we're going to begin bringing on other drivers as owner operators and building a fleet so you can take it wherever you want it uh, however motivated you are and whatever it is that you want to do. Some people are happy being company drivers for their whole career. Other people move inside, you know, like safety or recruiting or something or dispatching and they stay there and they're happy with that. Other people become brokers or agents. Some people become owner operators and are happy doing that and don't want to go any further. And then some people are driven to build a fleet, which is what we're working on at this point. So we've done lots of other things in the process of uh, working hard to take this up to that level as a fleet owner. So you have the same opportunities available to you if you're willing to work for them and if you're willing to pay the prices necessary to get there. So consider getting started in trucking and if you need a, uh, a job, either company drivers uh, earn a decent amount of money. Uh, I will tell you that when you first start out, when you're going through training and you're first starting to run, is not much. The training pay or the trainee pay and the, the fundamentals of that are not a whole lot of money. Uh, but after you get a few weeks under your belt and you start uh, figuring things out productivity wise and if you're efficient at what you're doing, you can make more money trucking even as a company driver than most people make at other types of jobs. And as I said, it can take you as far as you want to go from there. Uh, there are you know, everybody wants to know how much, how much, how much can you make? <clears throat> and the truth of that answer is it depends on you. And that's why I say if you read the things I publish, the books, the e-books, training manuals, blog posts, all the stuff I put out, you are really in trucking business for yourself as soon as you get into trucking, even as a company driver. And the reason I say that is so many of the decisions that you make upon what company to work for, what type of freight to pull, and how to communicate with your uh, staff, your dispatcher in particular, uh, how you handle and manage your time, how you plan. All these things are going to directly impact your income. And so some people are going to start out almost right out of the gate after the training now. Like I said, the training is just not a lot of money now. But after you get out on your own, some people are going to start out and do very well and are going to make nine hundred a thousand eleven twelve hundred dollars a week gross pay some would do a little bit better than that and a lot are going to do a lot worse than that they're going to be people who make five six hundred dollars a week so the answer is the, the income potential is there but uh, how much of that you're able to make is directly dependent upon you what you know and how hard and how smart you're willing to work for it. so uh, and as far as being an owner operator, it's kind of the same thing. Everybody wants to know the same thing. How much? Uh, I have, I can tell you, all I can tell you is what I know and what I've done and what we've done so far. We have made as little as six or seven hundred dollars for a local type, you know, run where we're turning it and we're back home the same day. And we've made as much as, uh, I think, twenty two hundred dollars uh, in less than a 24 hour period. Now, sounds like a, a lot of money to some people but do keep in mind uh, you have fuel you have the truck the trailer the tires maintenance all that kind of stuff so when you start seeing dollar signs in your eyes and thinking that you're gonna make and take home two thousand dollars a day <laughs> uh, you, yeah, again you know I believe you make sure you have the whole picture and uh, a 
a lot of days you're not going to. Some days you can actually earn more depending on the load that you're pulling in gross pay. But again, that's where a lot of people get confused and messed up is they confuse gross and net. And you have a lot of costs associated with operating a truck. Yeah, for example, I just did repairs on this trailer and we shelled out over $3,000 for that. Uh, a few weeks earlier than that, I decided to put new tires on it. It was another $3,000. So, um, you know, you don't get to, it's not that you're going to, it's not like a paycheck, like a company paycheck. If you own the truck and the trailer and have your own authority, you're going to have a, you're going to generate a lot of revenue, but you're going to have a lot of expenses as well. So something to keep in mind as a company driver, don't have many expenses. Um, you're not going to generate as much revenue, but again, many drivers do generate well over a thousand dollars a week after they get a little bit of time and figure out what they're doing and they're efficient at that. So, you know, whether you make, uh, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars, or whether you make a thousand or eleven, twelve, fourteen a week as a company driver, uh, more or less, it's going to depend on you and on the decisions you make and the actions that you take. Same thing as an owner operator. Some owner operators make a lot of money, make more than six figures a year. Uh, a few make close to that as far as what they keep after all the expenses and everything. And there are a lot that make less money, pay attention closely now, that make less money, net money, than the average company driver does. So they have all those hoops and hurdles and headaches and liabilities, and they make less money than many company drivers do because they're not efficient at what they're doing. So, um, Or maybe they just choose not to work that hard. They want to, you know, it's more about the lifestyle, and they want to get home more and, and that sort of thing. So... Lots of opportunities available to you. So if you need a job, consider trucking, you need more information on it, get in touch with me, you can join a Facebook group or get in touch with me directly through email or something, I'll try to help you. If you know somebody that needs a job, I'll have them reach out as well. Thanks for watching, have a great day and I'll talk to you again soon in the next video.